Hey guys, welcome to this video and now we are going to set up Tailwind CSS3. Okay, so to install Tailwind CSS3, we have to visit this official website of Tailwind and go to the documentation here. We can see the installation process. We can use it or install it by three or four ways. We can use Tailwind CSS CLI, you can use using post CSS or framework guides or just with a a script take so if you're using it with the some kind of uh, frameworks like laravel or react or next.js you can use this guide and if you're uh, just using it for the first time or want some simplest uh, installation so you can use the tailwind cs cli process now uh, let's uh, start with this one and use this tailwind cli process to uh, configure our Tailwind CSS with our HTML file. First of all, I've created a blank folder of Tailwind CSS. I'll put it inside the uh, Visual Studio Code to go ahead. So let me grab it and bring it here inside the Visual Studio Code. Now let me close all the files. Okay, so be, for the first step we have to open the terminal and run these commands which we have here so we can open terminal by going to the terminal menu and new terminal or uh, press this shortcut key mentioned here so we have the terminal here we can just uh, install the Tailwind CSS with the npm npm install the Tailwind CSS Tailwind CSS. It will take a while, depends on your internet connection. Uh, successfully installed, and uh, this was a blank folder, and now we can see that we have node modules folder and uh, packages.json, and we have some files here included. After that, we can just init the Tailwind CSS via the npx which will be uh, output or give us a uh, tailwind.config.js you can create it yourself or just run this command yeah so by running that command we will have the tailwind.config.js and after that we can configure our files here then we need to configure your template paths inside this so whatever files we have we should mention it here so we should mention it here for example uh, i, I want to create an index.html file on my root folder so i have to mention it here inside this content section mm, index.html in order to the children css should work after that what does this the first portion mean that mean that you should have a source a folder and put your HTML and CSS files JS files inside that so we'll create a source folder and inside that uh, we'll just put our style.css and inside this style.css which is in source folder we can put our directives of uh, Tailwind CSS so basically Tailwind CSS have three and directives and the best one the component and the utilities so now we have all that in our source folder we can have an, uh, an output or public folder inside which we will compile these files so for that we should just uh, run this command npx tailwind css and give the input and output and uh, destinations and after that and just uh, run a washer to watch whatever we change so we should run this command npx tailwind to compile down this style rcss from source file to our public folder npx tailwind css now we should give the, the uh, address of our source file input file so slash style .css. this is this file source and css file and then where should it compile it and the output so i'll give the address of our public folder public slash uh, style.css uh, you don't need to have this file 
create it but you can just write it down i don't have any uh, uh, styler css inside my public folder but that's okay and uh, watch it a watcher we should run a watcher whatever changes we bring to our css in source folder that should be compiled in the moment yeah so uh, everything is almost ready and now we can start using Tailwind CSS in our HTML. So I have created this index.html starting with that. Sorry. First of all, we have to link it in our HTML uh, public slash styler CSS. Now, when it is linked, let's check whether it is linked or not. Uh, I'm writing an h1 and tag, and inside there's some title and give it some uh, tailwind css classes for example a padding of two a background color of bg blue of 600 and that's okay let's check and underline underline let's save it and when we save you see that the watcher is running and it is building our source uh, the um, CSS from our source folder to the public to the styler CSS. So let's run it in our browser. Opening the file from the folder. This is our index.html which we created. Yeah, you can see that we have a BG blue of 4 500 and we have an underline and this is an H1. Now Tailwind is uh, successfully set so we'll uh, further we will learn in the next video please share and subscribe and the press the bell icon thank you very much